The great thing that you I feel that as uh, as drinkers that you don't often get to do is taste uh, two beers uh, that came from the same beginning point. So while there are flaked oats and there's churro and there's uh, a lot of uh, protein grains uh, in the bigger beer, um, that will still be present in the beer that's slightly smaller alcohol content. Uh, but the cool thing is knowing when you're drinking both, they both have the same roots, uh, they both share the same genes, although they could taste like two absolutely different beers. So it's great. It's just a gnarly, another gnarly thing to kind of think about uh, as you're having the beer, and I feel that. Uh, it just elevates the entire experience for that moment while you're having those two. It's really cool because it's a classic brewing technique uh, that has been utilized back in England for, I mean, for years and years. And uh, we're kind of putting our spin on it and using these really awesome hops and combinations of these hops to really, as uh, Jude alluded to earlier, kind of really get these new age hop flavors and aromas, but then fall back on our tried and true classic hops, but just blast this beer with them to really create some new aromas and flavors with this massive combination of hops. And like Jim said, we're playing with in hop intensity, we're playing with hop products, so the cryo, we're playing with new varieties, old varieties, it's just going to really give you a complexity on both of these beers. And that malt bill is going to give you texture, even in that pale ale, that West Coast pale, will still have some nice texture from the oats. And with that more fermentable wort at the last runnings, it'll be a little bit drier too. So we can expect that right good tasting beer. And even with that dryness, that's going to be balanced out with the silky, velvety texture Absolutely. from our flake grains and our uh, oat malt and wheat malt as well. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited because we like to push the envelope when it comes to hop flavor and aroma, but really it was Rev uh, that took the reins here and said we're going to push even further than we normally do. So I was stoked to hear that. So they forced us to, to push, the, uh, to push the, the pounds per barrel <laughs> even higher. Uh, so I'm really excited uh, for an even more intense brew. Yes. So kudos to you guys. Thank you. We will for show forcing that, for forcing <laughs> that on us. There will be no quarter shown on the dry hopping quantity at all. No mercy. Didn't have to twist twist our, our arms at all. So this collab based superstructure uh, will be available and released at the Revolution Tap Room at Kedzie on Saturday, August 17th. We'll have some hot butcher beer on draft. Uh, as well as a limited run of cans available. Hope to see you out. Can't wait. Can't wait. Right on. Nice little cut on the vertical. Left hand shake. <laughs>